Now, if you've watched part one or you've completed it on your own, this is the blockish extrusion of the windshield. So this will be part two of making the Automoblox windshield. In your instructions for introduction to CAD modeling skills, this is uh, number five and it'll be graded as another 10 points once you finish um, what will be probably part two and three of the videos of the Automoblox windshield. So we've completed the blockish version. We made these arcs, we made them tangent to each other, and then we extruded it 2.55 inches, which is great. So what's next? Well, we need to make it look more like a really cool looking windshield. So we're going to need to add some fillet to both sides of this windshield, and that's a radius of 0.5. The next step after that is to shell the underside of this to make it hollow. So we're going to use a new tool called Shell and we're going to choose this bottom surface here and that will make this entire um, underside hollow uh, which would be great because you need room for the people's heads and their shoulders and their chests and so forth. So that'll be um, really important uh, to have that. You don't want a solid windshield all the way through the car. You need something that's uh, hollow and gives interior space. So those would be the steps. Um, then we need to create this piece that sticks down into the passenger section and it's got these little ribs on it and its surface is not the same level as the surface of the windshield itself that we've been creating um, of the outer portion of the windshield. It sticks down farther so we're going to create a work plane, a work plane, a new feature for you um, to start drawing this surface and then that'll be the finish the end of uh, part two. So let's take a look at our blockish windshield in Inventor. And here we go. So here's the blockish windshield. Um, resist the temptation to change the color. Um, changing colors is fun, but we're not done with this yet. When we're done, then we can change the color. So we need to add that fillet. And we're going to choose the <coughs> fillet tool right there. and change the dimension to 0.5. So we've chosen 0.5 as the dimension and we want to choose this edge that's all red that runs from this corner all the way to this corner and click. And there's our preview. And that looks good. So we we'll go to the far side and we don't we could spin this thing around and take a look at the other side. We could do we could click here and then see that entire section. But in the name of productivity and being able to make these things quicker and faster, and the more productive you are and the faster you can make get things done, the more useful you are to yourself and your employer. Um, you don't have to turn all the way around. It gives us a preview. It shows us that red curve line going from one end up and over and all the way to the other end here. So we click on that and boom, there's our preview. And we like what we see. I'll just go ahead and spin it around so you can get an idea of what it looks like. And we say, hey, that's great. And we click OK. So there is our curved windshield, very nice. What's left? Well, we don't have a shell, right? It's solid all the way through, like all the parts we make when we extrude them. So we're going to shell this section down here. So if that's our home view, or if that's your home view, uh, we click the underside so we can see it, and we come up here and here is shell. So that's the shell feature right there. We click on that, and it says, hey, what is the face that you want to remove? That's what that red arrow is uh, saying that you need to choose it, and it's highlighted, so whatever we click on, will be the face that's removed. That's great. And then there's also a section down here for the thickness. So this is already highlighted, so let's go ahead and pick our face. And that's this underside. Now that's chosen, but we need to change the dimension. Where do we get that dimension? If we go back to our dimensions here, we can see that the windshield is 
in the passenger section is 0.05 in thickness. But the windshield, the outer windshield, this section, the curve that we just made, it's 0.07 in thickness, right there. So we go back and we change this to 0.07. And it's unhappy with me. There we go. When it's red, when the dimensions are red like that, it's not very happy with you. But now they're black, and so all is well with the world. So we hit OK. I hit Enter that time. And we can see that we now have a shell. It is hollow underneath. Between these surfaces, between this inside and outside surface, is still solid. But this whole section in here is hollow. All right, go back to our home view. Very nice. I think I'm going to change it and make that my home view. How do I do that? I right click on the house. I go down to set current view as home and I click fit to view. So now that's my home view. And that goes better with the work we're going to be doing underneath in just a minute. Now we need to do a work plane, an offset work plane. We go up here to our ribbon and here is work features and in the work features work plane this panel uh, we have planes axes points um, and then UCS these are the these are the two that we're going to be using the most in this class especially work plane now we could just click work plane or we can actually hit the pull down menu and choose the exact one uh, there's a couple different ways of doing that uh, we want this work plane on the bottom so now that I'm, I go over here to my navigation cube, I'm going to click on this bottom right corner, click right there so I can see the bottom side. And this surface here is parallel to the plane that we want to create. But if we create it here, it's going to be 0.67 too high, 0.67 inches too high, higher than what we want. We want it lower than that. So that's the purpose of drawing the work plane. There's other ways of doing this. We could draw this surface and then make uh, asymmetrical extrusion going in two different directions. It won't let you do the asymmetrical at the same time, so you have to do one extrusion one way and then another extrusion the other way. We're going to do all of them at the same time, so that way we can introduce you to work planes. So we come up to uh, work plane, and I'm going to go ahead. And, I'll go ahead and hit the pull-down menu and choose offset from plane, and as soon as I hover over that little section that we want parallel to our plane, that surface, immediately a plane hi um, highlights, kind of get the glow of this uh, plane. Um, I, I'm just hovering at the moment. I'm not clicking. I'm going to click down and hold for a moment. And you notice it changed colors. And now there's a dimension here and an arrow showing what direction is the positive direction. I'm still holding my left key downward and I'm going to start rolling the mouse, the mouse towards myself and you can see the dimension changed. So now the plane is offset from that original surface. The surface that's uh, highlighted here in blue is separated from the surface of that work plane. And if I go up here to my navigation cube and click you can see that that's the case. That they're not on the same surface but they're parallel to each other. I highlight this dimension, I type in 0.67, which I got from our T9 uh, dimension drawings document, and I click OK. So let me show you where I got that dimension. Right here, 0 0.67. 0 0.67 is the distance from the bottom of that outer windshield to the bottom of the passenger section insert of the windshield. Fits inside that passenger section, which hopefully you've accomplished so far already. So we go back. And uh, that's a good place to stop for this video. So we're in good shape. We got those three steps done. And all that's left is now completing from here to here. And that's a big step. So we'll take care of that. It's all those dimensions that we need to do that are here on the T9 dimension drawing document. And it's these dimensions here 
and these dimensions here that we're interested in. And we're going to draw this shape inside here. And we'll do that in the next video.